What's up, yo? I'm gonna show you how to fix this. And I'm gonna show you how to get rid of this. Let's get started. Number one, the first thing I do, comb the beard out. Comb it all out. You see how it's all out? Then I take this, this guy, and I go, and you start shaping your beard. You're shaping it. So over here. Just the hairs that are sticking up. This is also a good time to shape this up. Cause you know what I mean? Your beard is too long, you can't see the bottom. So to get, you know, good angle at the bottom, you know, you want to comb it up. See once again, look, we're combing it up. This would be the moment. Like if you want to clean it up here, this is your time. All the hair is combed up. So you have access to this right here. You go like this. So now, I'm gonna tackle this line right here. Pull it forward. All right, that side is done, look at that, nice and clean. And then we're gonna do this side. Pull your face this way, on the machine. Riley, don't go digging over here, dig as far back as you can first. You can always move forward, you cannot move back. All right, good. Done. Now we comb everything back down. And now everything is super tamed. Right, you see the difference already? There's some shape. We didn't go crazy with it. Just comb the hair out, like I said, comb it all out, and then just outline a little bit, just the hair that are sticking out, don't go crazy, and then you comb it back down. And look, it's already looking a lot better. And then once it's back down, give it a second round. Now we're just shaping the beard. If you look in the mirror, like I see little hairs right here, right here in the mirror, like they're sticking out. I don't know if you can see them, they're right here. Those are the ones that I'm going for. It's disturbing. Yeah. Be gentle, don't go digging into your beard, because you're gonna make holes. You don't wanna do that. I don't know about you, but that looks way better. Woo, woo, that looks beautiful. We're gonna tackle this messy looking mustache. Got me nuts. Oh, you wanna brush it down first? Clippers, never go straight, right? When you're doing the mustache, try to go this way and this way. Be careful with the corners, because with the corners you can push over here too much, or you can go in here too much. So you're gonna do this at an angle, not only at an angle like this, but an angle like this, watch. See how I'm not cutting the hair? Like I'm not cutting the hair right here. The corner's there, this corner's here, but I'm not pressing on this corner, just on the right corner. All right, and then you wanna slightly tap that corner. Right. Boy, does that feel good. Well, look, look how these simple little quick steps, the beard is looking way better. Next is I wanna fade a little bit right here. I wanna trim the mustache down, you know, fade the sides a little right here cause you know, it's looking kind of bushy and tame the upper area just a little bit. And we're gonna do that with this guy right here. So this is gonna be kind of like a review. Look, brand new, I haven't opened it. Brand new, look, seal popped. I haven't opened this yet. Yeah, in the box comes instructions. A little cushion to protect everything. These bad boys right here. You get these bad boys. 
Focus, focus. Whatever. We got a little brush, charging wire, the whole buttload of clips. For this, we're gonna take a number two, number oh, is this one and a half. It says A. Ew. Oh, oh, so it has a one and a half. One and a one and a half. And guys, I cannot stress this enough. I've said it in multiple videos. I say it over and over and over before and after you use your machines. You get this, you know, wipe it down and brush it. The machine feels pretty strong so far. We're gonna do the number two, all right? Let's take the number two. And we're gonna go with the grain. With the grain means the way the hair grows, not against the grain. We're gonna go with the grain, down. Lightly, okay? And I chose the number two because of the length of my hair. Like my hair ain't that long. So if your beard is, you know, longer, you might want to get a, a longer clip. Yeah. Always start with a bigger clip and then work your way down because you can always go down, but you can't come back up once you go down. And this is a 3 16 inch. So work our way down, right? I mean, the clip is smaller. This time the 1 8 with the 1, open, close it. All right, so now we're gonna go with the A, which is 1 16th. And as I'm going, right, I start open, pass a little bit, I push down halfway, pass a little bit, and then I push it all the way down, pass a little bit. And by now, we're gonna turn this around, open it again, and fade this up here. Excuse the sweat, like I said, the bathroom is hot. And I'm concentrating, so. For some reason, I swear a lot. These clippers cut really good. <laughs> I'm using them and they cut pretty good. Look at that, okay? And we ain't doing no beard with enhancements over here. This is natural. All right, so now we did that. We're gonna open, open this all the way. And now we go back up. See, I pushed it a little bit. I closed it a little bit. Put a little more. A little bit more. Now you can be gentle, but you can open it all the way and kind of just touch it down, slowly. You see that? Yo. These clippers, man. Amazon clippers, guys, don't sleep on these. These right here seem to be really good, man. And they're, I think, 30 to 40 bucks. I can't stress these enough. These are the best, I think. For $35, can beat those with a bat. See that? Look at the before, after. We're gonna work our way to the mustache now. I just wanna lower the mustache down a little bit. I don't wanna go too crazy. I'm gonna take this 316, the B. I'm gonna go down. Cause I wanna trim the mustache a little bit, but not too much. But when you go up, cut a lot more hair. So I'll tell you, for example, I have somewhat of a little hole here. You know, you can't really see it now because it's not a hair, but it's not a crazy hole. Cause I have so much hair, you can't really see it. And I go up with the clip, you know, that hole comes out right away. Like you can see it a lot. So that's why if you have any holes in your beard or any like patches, put the hair with the grain. Like just go down, go down lightly. You see, cut hair. I'll cut over here because these, these hairs get a little annoying. And he's down, 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 down. And I want to touch it up a little bit. On to the other side. That's that.
we're gonna take it a step further and we're gonna pass the ring. What I do is I wet my face, some water. I dry the side that I'm gonna shape up first. This is what I do. Pull up a little bit. You always hold like the cheek. Don't just go straight like with no hand. You want some pull on the cheek. So we go here. I want to be able to try to see what I'm doing. Now we're gonna do the other side, so I'm gonna go on the other side. Let me do the other side. Hold a little bit here. And go. This is how I do the side here. Pull your back a little bit. Flip side, keep this side. This side looks pretty good. I'm happy with this. Now I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. Look at that. Nice. For what I was saying before with all the dandruff, here are two things that will help you big time when it comes to taking care of your beard. Number one is Pacino's Beard and Face Scrub. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but I do have Amazon affiliate links linked down below. You take this, wash your beard and your face and the key number one ingredient this helps with cleaning your beard maintaining your beard cleaning your face but the key for the dandruff and the flaky beard the pacino's beard oil this right here helps big time you take a nice amount you rub it all up in your beard all around it helps big time smells good makes your beard this and this makes your beard smell good and keep it nice and soft Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please take the time to hit the thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Hope you enjoyed. Take care, God bless, and peace out.